Hey guys, this is Barry with Fire and Ice Outdoors and we have another unboxing video and this is Big Blue. It is a 2500 watt portable generator and let's open it up and see what's inside. The packaging is insane. How awesome this looks. This is nice. Look at this, it's not light. It's 2500 watts. This looks nice. Comes with a really big manual probably in different languages it's in several different languages that's why it's so thick we have a cigarette lighter charger ac adapter and then this is for your solar panels and it comes with a, a little bag to put all your stuff in packaging is awesome how do they want you to get it out like that Ugh. Ugh. very simple and really nice packaging let's see how much they gave us power wise one all right it's always fun Okay. Wow, it gives you a lot of options here. Pull this off. This is nice. So, uh, so they gave us USB, two USB chargers. They're fast chargers, 18 watt. There's two of those. They have four USB-C that are 45 watt. These two are 45 watt. These are 100 watt. This is your solar panel, your cigarette lighter, not suitable for AC adapter connection. I think and this is your 65 volt, 22.5 amp, and this is a 12,000 watt max. I guess that's where you plug in your solar. But let's turn it on the other side. And on this side, we've got six AC plugins, dual fan, and then you can plug this in. So what's cool about this is that you plug this in, it'll take it to 80% or 85% in an hour and a half by plugging it in, which is pretty awesome. Let's see how much they give you power wise. So, okay, here we go. I gotta tell you, there's some neat things about this. So it came 59%. What's neat about this, there's a, quite a few things that I like about this. If you have this plugged into your refrigerator at home when you're a power apps out or something like that, if you plug this into the wall and then plug this into your refrigerator to keep it running, when the power comes on, it just turns this into a extension cord. It will turn the power off of this within 10 minutes. It'll allow that shore power from the wall to just keep your refrigerator going. This just turns into a, an extension cord, which is really cool. I've learned a lot because I keep getting these generators, like portable generators, and I wanna give you a, a real world scenario with it because I do a lot of real world scenario testing with products, with e-bikes and different things like that. I like to share some stuff that I've learned with doing ger uh, solar generators. What type of power do you need for what you're doing. This might be too much or too little for you, and I can give you a little bit of real world scenarios on what you were looking for. So I'll give you an example. I just bought a brand new AC unit. The other one was just getting old. It's noisy and it's just not really working well. This is 900 watts per hour. Plus we have a surge when it fires up as well. So that has to be calculated in this, but we'll do some math real quick. So what you'll do if, uh, and it's simple, but I'm gonna just take my calculator and I'll show you. So this is 2,500 watts. That is 900 watts per hour. So all you do is 2,500 divided by 900. So this generator, electric generator, would run that for two hours and 77 or 78 minutes, 2.77. Here's some real numbers and we'll play more with this. We'll, give me just a minute. We have two solar panel kits here. So one is 200 watts and one is 100 watts. And what 100 watt solar panel with good sun will charge a 500 watt portable generator. It'll take it 6.5 hours. If you have a 200 watt solar, solar kit, that would cut it in half. That would be three hours and uh, 3.25 hours to charge a 500 watt solar generator. So we'll do some math here. 6.5 hours for the 100 watt solar with good sun would take 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So times five will take 32 hours. So the, that 100 watt would take 32 hours of good sunlight to charge this. So if you divided that in half, it takes 16.25 hours if you did the 200 watt solar. And if you divide it in half, if you did 400, if you did two of the 200 watt, that'd be 400 watt, it would take 8.1 hours to charge this 
to full with good sunlight, just to give you kind of an idea what type of solar you would need. I think they sell different kinds. I'll put you the link in the description below. Let's play a little bit more. I'm gonna show you some kind of real world ideas of what kind of generator you would need. So I have this sheet and I'm gonna to try to post down at the bottom in the description. If you wanna use this, I actually got this from another YouTuber and this guy's crazy smart. That's his name right there. But let's do some real world scenario. Let's play a little bit. Is that, that's cool. GPS, altitude. Dude, this thing's crazy. Let's say that you're going on a two day adventure and you don't want to charge this, but you fill it up with electricity, fill it up, charge it completely 100%. You're gonna run a couple of things. One will run a 12 volt refrigerator, two cell phones, a coffee maker that does two cups or four cup coffee maker and a small USB fan. So those are the things, those are the four things that you would take with your, on your camping trip. So what you do is, let's start with the refrigerator. So the refrigerator is 20 watt hours. So 20, and we're gonna be in the woods for two days, which is 24, 48 hours. So 48 hours. So 20 times 48 is 960 watt hours. We've got two cell phones that are 4,000 milliamp or four amp hours. So this right here is 14.8, 14 14.8 times 48. So that's 710 hours and that's 14.8 times 48 hours which it only would take let me change this real quick because it will probably only take four hours for this to charge does that make sense so 14 uh, times four is uh and then times two so that's 118 because we don't need to charge this for 48 hours we only need to charge it probably for four hours so we'll just do eight hours for two and that's 118 say 119 watt hours you can see this all right and then the coffee maker is 75 watt hours so 75 times and it only needs to run for just a few minutes so we'll just say um at man what an hour a day two hours so 75 times two hours times two hours is 150 watt hours so let's just add all this up real quick so we've got 160 plus oh we got to do the fan as well so the fan is 12 watt hours times we'll run it at night for eight hours so that's 16 so let's see 12 times 16 hours that the fan will run equals that's 190 times 12 equals 192. So let's just add all this up now. So we'll see what we need for this two day trip. So that's there. 109 plus 119 plus 150 plus 192 equals. So that's 14,021. And just for good measure, times 10% is so 14. Just give you a little bit of extra because that's just, that's exactly what you would need. Plus 142 is 1563. So theoretically, this would be more than enough than you'd need. To be honest with you, this has got a thousand more watt hours. So you could theoretically stay for three days, a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, with um, yourself, two cell phones, uh, an AC refrigerator, a coffee maker, and a fan to circulate air. And on this here, it, this sheet of paper, which I'll try to put in the description, it's got laptops, uh, routers, big AC, full-size AC units. So all you have to do is on the average watt hours, just take that times the time you need it. This is a huge AC unit and it would only run it for three hours. But if you had a small little AC unit that's 5,000 BTU, that is 12,000 BTU. That's only 350 watts. So 350 watts times, let's say we run it for eight hours at night is 2,800 watts. So a 3,000 watt, this would run a 5,000 BTU air conditioner for roughly about six hours, six to seven hours. So really neat tool. I'm gonna put it in the description so you can see it. Great, this is amazing. It's crazy smart, but I wanted to share with you just kind of real world application of what you would use. 
and what this would be great for application wise. Before I go, I wanna just see what the weight is, if you're still with me. So let's kind of, let's weigh it real quick. Let's make sure it's zeroed and then hold. Pop it off. What is this? There's no way, is that? This is 26 pounds, it just feels heavier than that. But yeah, it says 26 pounds. So there's some weight to it. The little 500 watt I weighed the other day was 12, 12 pounds. So if you'd like one of these, I'll put the description below as, as well. I appreciate y'all watching and I'll talk to you next time.